If you've been to elementary school, you know about the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. What they don't teach you in elementary school is that there is more to the states of matter than just heat. You may have learned that heating up solids results in liquids, and heating up liquids results in gases, but this is not the full picture. If you look at dry ice, for example, it sublimates straight into gaseous carbon dioxide without ever being liquid. What's going on here? It is the result of pressure. Phases of matter involve both temperature and pressure. That is why water boils at a lower temperature at the top of big mountains. If you put water in the vacuum of space, it would never be water. It would either be ice or vapor just like dry ice. If you made a graph of temperature versus pressure for the phases of water, it would look like this. The boiling and freezing points at normal pressure are shown at 0 Celsius and 100 Celsius. Down at 0.6% normal pressure and 0 Celsius is the triple point. What is the triple point? Look at where it sits. The triple point is directly in between solid, liquid, and gas. This means that a substance balanced perfectly on the triple point will exist in all phases at once, like in this video. As you can see, the substance is boiling and freezing at the same time. Very odd. Interestingly enough, the atmospheric pressure on Mars is right around the triple point of water. So on Mars, triple point water is normal. The next important point is the critical point. This point is the start of the zone where liquid and gas are indistinguishable from each other. Beyond this point, the material is so hot and pressurized that the gaseous form has the same pressure as the liquid form. This weird state is called supercritical fluid. What are these lines crisscrossing around the solid phase of matter? These are known as mesophases. The mesophases of ice have slightly different properties because of the different conditions they are under. Freezing ice under no pressure is different than scalding hot ice under millions of atmospheres of pressure. Ice 1 is what we are used to. This is the normal ice that is cold and exists at normal pressure. This is the ice that floats on water and forms snowflakes. At zero degrees, this ice melts. But this is just one mesophase of ice. Ices like ice 7, 10, and 11 are extremely pressurized. This allows them to exist at high temperatures. This ice exists on a Neptune-sized exoplanet orbiting very close to its star. At a temperature hundreds of degrees above the normal boiling point of water, this ice is completely solid. Overall, the one-dimensional view of the phases of matter is incomplete. Pressure also makes a difference in the way that a substance acts.